life educator from the United States of America. And in Second Life, I am an educator with an interest in education, building, and using universal design for learning spaces in Second Life and other virtual worlds. As a moderator, I have the great privilege to introduce today's international panelists. Each one has graciously agreed to share their insight into how disabilities are recognized in their native country. Our first panelist on the end is Slayton Dreich. He was born and raised in Italy. His motto is, live, learn, and share. Slayton describes himself as an artist, a sculptor, a photographer, and an explorer in Second Life. He is an ex-SL buddy mentor, resident help network mentor, a linguist, virtual ability mentor and presenter, and Second Life ability mentor. You can see he's a busy person. Our next panelist also is a busy person and has a lot to say and share with you today. He is Levi Ewing from the Netherlands. And Levi has been in Second Life since 2007. And he discovered the VAI support community just about four years ago. Unfortunately, our panelists from Egypt and Greece could not be here today. But uh, we have a fine panel, panel, and there will be time at the end for questions and answers. The panelists have prepared their answers to some questions about disability rights in their own countries, and they use publicly available sources of information. But again, please remember these are our fellow citizens. They are not experts like the presenters at the other conference sessions. And we should have time for questions from the audience at the end after each panelist has given the responses to all of the questions. And just a quick reminder, if you crash, come back as soon as possible. We'll be here. OK, Levi. Would you like to begin with some comments about your country, the Netherlands? Hello all, I am Levi and thank you for having me here today. The reason why you see me here today talking is because Gentle Heron asked me to present some information on part of her Netherlands to you. First of all, I find it important for you to realize that I am no expert in this field at all. Things you are about to hear are composed of information I have found on the Wikipedia, some of my rusty school knowledge, a profile document, which is a summary that was compiled by the academic and disability experts in 2009. So it might not be true. I think it gives a good impression. So why am I hearing this to you? I have no clue to be honest, other than that gentle thought it to be a good idea. What I could think of is that I came into contact with the virtual ability Second Life, I think, years ago. That I never even realized kind of support group. At that time, it was suggested in my reaction I could possibly have Asperger's syndrome. The first thought was, is that something you can eat? Until I talked for things of the so the dream help for me. Thing about Asperger. If I did not have anyone or that I felt I could turn to.
someone turn to and someone someone to me that someone were enough to make suggest open quote by thank you to see where to get help and relief can the suspicion quote so even though my lips are intact and you couldn't tell much except that I am the VAI group was and still is a supportive and safe place for people that's enough about me talk about that so the question mark Thurlands is squeezed on the edge Postal. If you would swim across the channel, you would. Thurlands is quite San Francisco to New York. Play 200 kilometers across, or about a two. It's about four. 200. Take you for location where time. For example, the time I two thousand yes two thousand is old. It was founded by the Rome. The indigenous Dutch people of the and centuries various occupations Italians Napoleon have a major more recently the years of Very hard to define. <coughs> As you have just heard, there have been people living in the location of the Netherlands for quite a long time. But for a pretty long time, it would not be fair to call them Dutch people or let them quote Netherlanders. Close quote. The most accurate start date would be the unification in the 16th century, the unity of the government. The British historian Jonathan Israel stated in his book about the history of 1977. In this year, a number of country, counties in the region the revolution on the 14th of March 1470 forced the central authority to allow the grant of privilege. So I apologize for any pronunciation there. This privilege allowed the Western states to gather to without authorization of the central authority. Dutch or open quote net close quote language official language of government for Holland and Zealand. Following centuries, four counties were occurred and split up with Belgium, leading to the current Netherlands. Thank you, Levi. Slayton, what do you have to tell us about Italy? Hello, I am Slayton and my privilege to be here today. You all know Italy how the country of culture, love and food. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Italy is a complex Chinese boxes. Italy is a country where disabled people are well considered and supported by the national institutions. 
Across many years, several laws have been approved to uphold people suffering some disability. Public and private structures provide a broad range of assistance and caring, diagnostic, therapeutic, psychological and educational. Unfortunately, despite many national and regional laws, some aspects of daily life can be a real odyssey. Architectural barriers are still a big problem in many cities. Sidewalk slides near the lights, to allow an easy street crossing, or public spaces like bars and restaurants that are not equipped to host a wheelchair user, especially the dedicated restroom, or the cars parked on the sidewalks due to the lack of parking. Just recently, Italy's public transportation was updated, introducing new generation buses and trains equipped with sliding ramps. A good law is nothing without firm enforcement of it. In my opinion, it is a question of good sense, respect and attention to a person with a disability that does not need a specific law to apply it. I am sorry to say it, but Italy must grow a lot in this way to reach the status of evolved culture to afford people with disabilities in the right way. Thank you, Slayton. Let's move on to uh, some more specific questions about these countries. I will first read the question and then I will ask each panelist to respond. First question, what is the population of your country? What is the estimated number of people with disabilities in your country? And what percent of that is the total population of your country? Slayton, would you like to respond to that first? Says, according to data collected in 2012, 59, 6 million. There were 2.6 million people with disabilities in Italy, about 4.5% of the Italian population, based on data collected in 2011. Gender differences show an all-female disadvantage. 66.2% of people with disabilities are women, numbering about 1.7 million which corresponds to 6.1% of Italian women. Among men, the percentage was 3.3%, almost halved compared to women, based on 2011 data. Thank you, Slayton. Levi, how would you answer question number one? In 2012, the population of the Netherlands was about 16.77 million. Estimated number of persons with some degree of a physical disability in the Netherlands in 2007 was 3. 1,377 million persons, or 22.5% of the population. The number of persons with a moderate to severe physical disability, including visual and auditory impairment, was estimated at 1.7 million people, 12% of the population. The number of persons with an intellectual disability was estimated at approximately 110,000 or less than 8% of the population. Thank you, Levi. Moving on to the next question.
Give a brief description of the health care system in your country, such as private insurance, government subsidized health care, etc. Slayton, it's your turn. Government subsidized health care. Italy's health care system is free for everyone. Italian citizens and foreign people living in Italy, including people who are in the country, Italians can also subscribe to insurance to gain access to private health assistance, which provides better for surgeries. Okay, and same question over to Levi. Thank you, Slayton. Such health care to be effective, but not the most effective to other Western countries. The healthcare system is limited. You must see a home doctor at the first layer to be able to access the second or third layer of care. Two sources of finance. Long-term treatment of quote, care, quote, including national hospitalization, disability costs such as wheelchairs are controlled mandatory insurance. 2009, this covered 27% of all health care expenses. Short term apologies. Short term medical care or cure is covered by mandatory health insurance through private insurance companies. This insurance covers 41% of health care expenses. Taxes cover an additional 14% of health care expenses. Individuals may also pay out of pocket or may buy other optional health insurance. Thank you, Levi. And moving on to question number three. What legal protections do people with disabilities have in your country? And please name the laws and give the dates those laws were enacted. Uh, Slayton, would you like to take that one first? laws were enacted to guarantee more rights to people with disabilities, the right to work, economic support, etc. To time, I will mention just four examples, followed by a list of the other laws that also address disability rights in Italy. Law number 1971. This law says that every disabled person has the right to receive specific health care assistance, qualified tutors and educators, and a monthly check balanced with the level of disability, open brackets, social pension, close brackets. Law number 1978. The Italian Mental Health Act of 1978, which signified a lot of the psychiatric system in Italy, the directives for the closing down of all psychiatric to their gradual replacement with a whole range of community services, including settings for acute inpatient. Law number 68, February 1999 provides for employment of people with disability. For example, if a company employs 50 or more people and has more workers, 60% of the new hires must have disabilities. 
Law No. 004, February 2000, guarantees a paid leave of absence of a minimum of three months up to six months from work in order to assist a parent or child with a disability. Also provides for cases of training to assist a family member with a disability. It provides for a family leave of absence of a period of three months up to six months per year. The employer cannot make a request for a leave for this purpose. Other laws relating to disability rights in Italy. Law No. 1980, 506, November 1988, November 1989, November 1, February 1992, Law Number 17, Law Number 91, January 2000, Law Number 53, March 2000, Law Number 151, October 2001, Law Number 216, September 2003. There are also guidelines regarding people with disabilities, which are extended to all EC countries, including the last ones being issued in 2010, programmed for the following 10 years, open brackets 2010 to 2020, close brackets. For Levi. Such policy on inclusion of disabled people in society is based on an action plan for equal treatment and practice. Um, Levi, you'll have to forgive me. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I apologize. But the law dates, I'm guessing, were 2003 to 2014. The Dutch. <laughs> The Dutch Equal Treatment Act on Grounds of Disability or Chronic Illness has been in effect since 2003. It establishes the right to non-discrimination in employment and adult education. The Act was amended later to include non-discrimination in primary and secondary education and housing. There are several laws related to employment. An action plan aims at 80% employment by 2016, including job training for 200,000 chronically or traditionally unemployed people. This is called Everyone Participates. The Youth Disability Based Employment Subsidy Act provides a minimal monthly payment to people with a disability who are disabled at an early age. The amount of funding is very close to the poverty line. The Sheltered Employment Act provides supported employment for about 99,000 employees with disabilities. The Act for Employment and Income according to Employment Capacity provides for disability payments and employer stimuli to encourage employers to hire disabled employees. Thank you, Levi. You're welcome. And let's move on to the next question. Question number four. Are people with mental and developmental disabilities as well protected as people with physical disabilities in your country? Slayton, it's your turn. Yes, they are. Dedicated public and private structures are located in the whole country. Following the law number 180 of May 1980, called Legge Passes from its promoter, Mr. Basaglia, eminent 
psychiatrist, it represents a milestone. Apologies for any mispronunciation there, Slayton. There's a website too. It is en.wikipedia.org forward slash wiki slash spell this out B-A-S-A G-L-I-A law. This law also eliminates restrictions to a law to the right to vote of persons with intellectual and psychosocial disabilities. Levi. I have no clue to be honest, but what I find seems to suggest not. A Dutch professor of mental health care, Philippe Deleuze Paul, said that the problem in my country is that while we potentially have a need to provide mental health care for 25% of the population each year, we have the capacity to provide care for just 6%. One strategy he proposes to help more people with less money is to reduce the number of clinical admissions while still providing the same quality of care. He says that the care system should recognize more links between the mental illness of patients with severe mental disorders and the social system of which they are part. Who is asking, do most children with disabilities attend classes with non-disabled classmates? Asking Slayton to respond first. Yes, they attend normal schools. If they need, supported by a second teacher. There are some public and private institutes for the most complex or specific disabilities. is now responding. The trend would seem to be in the opposite direction. Between the 1995 to 96 school year, 2007 to 2008 school year, population of children in the group by 5%. However, in the time period, the population of special education grew by 84%. At the high school level, the was from 1.4% of students being in a special school in 1995 to 96 to 2.5% in 2007 to 2008, it doubled. The number of students in special schools for students with behavioral difficulties is the fastest.
and I will read the next question. Do most people with disabilities live with their families, or in special facilities, or in hospitals? Slayton, let's go back to you first. Most Italian people with disabilities live with their family, the parents or own family brackets, or an income bracket under a certain amount. The family gives an income support tax. Thank you, Slayton. Levi, would you please answer that question? Five, six. The Netherlands is developing community-based services, although these are still dominated by institutional models. Many people with physical disabilities in the Netherlands live in the community. Nursing and other care, guidance, counselling and equipment may be provided at home. Personal assistance is person specific budget. The AWBZ extraordinary provides a fixed sum of per year to persons with a disability, to enable them to make individual care arrangements as they see fit. Support for social participation and community integration is also available. WMO, or the Act for Provision of Social Support of 2007, is administered by municipal governments. It pays for modifications to housing so that homes are accessible to persons with a disability, and other supports to improve mobility and home care. Many other people with physical disabilities, particularly elderly people, live in nursing homes or care homes. In 2004, approximately 1,000 lived in care homes and 60,000 nursing homes. Persons with intellectual and psychiatric disabilities do not enjoy the same history of progress made in independent living that people with physical disability have had since the 1960s. Many of them still live in residential and semi-residential institutions. Concern has been expressed that a significant number of institutions provide a low quality of care and choice to their residents. From the 1970s, the Netherlands has tried to improve institutions, turning them into community-like villages, sometimes called care farms. That information is from here. If I has pasted a long to chat. Thank you, Levi. And let's move on to another question. Are there populations within your country that have specific health or disability issues? And please describe. For example, in the United States, the Native Americans have severe problems with alcoholism and diabetes. Uh, Slayton? Let's go back to you. There are not. 
Even if during the last years, due to the massive illegal migration of African countries, this population is monitored to avoid any risk of open quote, old, old quote, diseases, which were defeated in Italy years ago, open bracket, meningitis, tuberculosis, smallpox, diphtheria, close bracket, so, open quote, new, close quote, diseases, open bracket, CD, HPA, brackets. B for Levi, specific religious minority groups in the Netherlands, for example certain branches of Orthodox Calvinism, Evangelical Christian groups, refuse to have inoculations for certain illnesses, or refuse blood transfer, or even insurances for religious reasons. It seems that the Dutch health insurance system provides a special opt-out clause. If you don't agree on being insured for conscientious reasons, you have the option not to be insured, but the same amount of money, brackets 250 to 350 euro a month, close bracket, for health care, would have been paid in payroll taxes for these people, it's credited to a private health care savings account instead of going into taxes. The individual can draw from this account for paying medical bills. However, if the account is drawn down to zero, they have to find a different source to pay the bills. Technically, you're better off keeping the same insurance. Thank you, Levi. And now, the final question. Has your country signed and ratified the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities? And if so, were there any issues raised during that process? And if not, what are the issues preventing this? Slayton, let's go back to you. Yes, Italy has signed and ratified it without any issues or reservations. The official Gazette 51 was published on March 14, 2009, after the law was passed. 18th of March, oh, apologies, November 18, March 3, 2009, bearing the ratification and implementation of the UN Convention on Rights of Persons with Disabilities, which was adopted in New York on of December 2006. Thank you, Slayton. Levi, what about your country? Netherlands has signed the United Nations Convention, but not the optional protocol. I was unable to find out why the protocol was not signed. Netherlands reserves the right to interpret the, open quotes, right to life, close quotes, in Article 10 of the Convention document within the framework of its own laws. It also interprets Article 25F, which bars the discriminatory denial of health care, 
is permitting a person to refuse medical treatment, including food or fluids. Thank you, Levi. I do believe we have gone through the questions very thoroughly with our two panelists, and there is some time left for questions from the audience. Uh, it could be just a general question, or if you would like to direct your question to a specific panelist, you may do so. Okay, this is Jen Poland. This is a comment from Armin, who would like to add in some information to the contrary of what the Dutch has unintentionally said. There was a war in Europe in 1990 in former Yugoslavia, which is Croatia and Bosnia. That's where Armin comes from, so that's why he's able to give us this information. In Southeast Europe, in fact, many people are disabled as a result of that war. Thank you, Armin, for adding that information. is responding. I agree. I'm right to say that the Netherlands, there was no war. I'm going to take... Oh, go ahead, kid. Are you going to say what that is? Slayton is saying in response to Kit, thanks to you for the reader to share it. Faisal is also saying likewise. The question was sent by an audience member. This is a question for Slayton. Slayton, could you give an example of a psychosocial disability? And wiping that out, we have a general question coming in from Snazzy. Maybe I will take a stab at that. Do deaf and hearing impaired drivers have special notice on their driver's license so that if they're in an accident, a, an interpreter could be brought to the scene? Do you know anything about that? So now we need to give time because remember, neither of these first language is English, so they have to think about this and then translate. 
Bye is responding and says, I'm not sure, snazzy. Sorry. Responding and says, yes, they have a special drive license and a patch on And Polaris has asked what sort of accessibility services are in your country. Polaris, can you give an example of what an accessibility service is? What are you meaning by that? I would say it, as I said before, too many barriers. Fire is responding. And Google's real quick. It seems they have a bumper sticker campaign because they have no specific signs. people. <laughs> so I was just bonding to comment. This is yeah. Is that with a line through it? is responding again accessibility I think the Netherlands is pretty accessible for wheelchair people but I am sure the focus needs to stay to have good and equal accessibility to all Those were good questions from the audience. Are there more questions today? Slayton is just responding.
about hidden disability like autisms, autism, apologies, it is still a problem in the This kind of disability, sleeping is still not recognized like a real disability. Fires responding as well. Regarding accessibility, there are also special services if you need transport. Years it becomes. If I is Asperger's is not see as a limitation. Slayton is saying people were classified autistic retarded. If I is adding in, I'm not sure about autism though. 